The shoreline of Scuffletown Creek in Chesapeake, Virginia was once littered with mounds of construction debris. But thanks in part to the Norfolk District and the city of Chesapeake, this one acre site has been transformed from a trash heap to a newly restored saltwater wetland. What we're trying to accomplish is taking a piece at a time and restoring the system to some level of what it was in the historical past. Since World War II, more than 50% of the wetlands have been lost along the Elizabeth River's watershed due to human activity. When there was a, a need to dump materials, the most convenient location typically tended to be um, parcels of land that you couldn't build buildings on. So wetlands are, were the logical candidate. This activity impaired waterways and affected the habitats of shellfish, finfish, and various waterfowl. The fact that we're getting this historic fill material out of there, that in itself reduces pollutant loads that are going right into the Chesapeake Bay. Over time, the area cleared of construction debris will begin to look like this. Lush, healthy wetlands, which will provide habitat for wildlife, as well as help to filter runoff as it enters into Scuffletown Creek before entering into the Elizabeth River. Even though the restored area is just under an acre in size, the director of the Elizabeth River Project, a grassroots environmental restoration group, says it is still extremely important. Every pocket that can be brought back in this urban environment is really critical. So an acre is a big area to restore for wetlands. In Chesapeake, Virginia, Patrick Bloodgood.